Hey friends, it's time for alphabet time. Today we're going to work on writing the letter U and deleting syllables again. Remember, syllables are word parts and we're going to play around with that. Before we get started with that, let's review our alphabet. A for apple, ah, ah, ah. B for bounce, C for cock, D for dick, D, D, D. E for elbow, F, F, F. F for fan, G for gal. H for hot, I for it, J for jump, K for king, L for love, M for much. And for not, O for aqua, a, 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 for push, Q for quiet, R for run, S for socks. T for Tom, t, 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 t. U for upside, uh, uh, uh. V for Molly, v, 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 v. W for Wiggle, X for X-ray, x, x, x. Y for Yawn, C for zigzag, letter sounds are all you need. Put them together so you can read. I hope you enjoyed that awesome. song, friends. I like that song, that alphabet song. All righty, now we're going to move on to working on the letter that we are working on this week. And it is the letter U. Remember, U says uh, U says uh. Every letter makes a sound. U says uh, like in umpire, upside down, umbrella, undershirt, up, going up. The rocket is going up. All these things begin with the uh sound. Now we're going to work on deleting syllables. I'm sorry. We're going to work on writing the letter U. Sorry about that. And we ha I have a special song, and it's called Where Do You Start Your Lives? Some of you may know this song already, and if you do, you can stand up and dance with me. Where do you start your letters at the top? Where do you start your letters at the top? If you want to start a letter, then you better, better, better remember to start it at the top. You ready, guys? Got dance. Letters, letters, start your letters at the top. Letters, letters, start your letters at the top. Letters, letters, start your letters at the top. Start your letters, start your letters at the top. Where do you start your letters at the top? Where do you start your letters at the top? If you want to start a letter, then you better, better, better. Remember to start it at the top. Is this the top, top, top? No, it's the bottom. Is this the top, top, top? No, it's the middle. Is this the top, top, top? Yes, it's the top, top, top. Where do you start your letters at the top? Oh, 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 oh. 
Reach up. Way up. Cause that's the top. It's just the top. Reach up and touch the top. Reach down. Way down. Is that the bottom? Yes, it's the bottom. Reach down and touch the bottom. One, two, three, four. Top, bottom. Shake it in the middle. Top, bottom. Shake it in the middle. Top, bottom. Shake it in the middle. Where do you start your letters at the top? Where do you start your letters at the top? Where do you start your letters at the top? If you want to start a letter, then you better, better, better. Remember to start it at the top. Is this the top, top, top? No, it's the bottom. Is this the top, top, top? No, it's the middle. Is this the top, top, top? Yes, it's the top, top, top. Where do you start your letters at the top? This song, guys. I love this song. Oops. I love this song. Um, and you can also watch it on YouTube is where do you start your letters? Let's get started. We're writing our letters. Remember the top. We start writing our letters at the top. Is this the top? No, it's the bottom. Is this the top? No, it's the middle. Is this the top? This is the top. And we're going to start writing the letter U at from starting at the top. Our I can statement is I can name and write the letter U. This is the letter U. So let's practice writing the letter U. I'm going to start at the top. First, you're going to watch me and use your hand to follow along with my pen on the computer. Start at the top, go around all the way up and stop. That's how you write the capital U. This is a lowercase u. Let's start in the middle. This lowercase letter starts in the middle. Start in the middle, go around. Don't pick up your pencil yet and slide back down. Oops, sorry, Sli oops. <laughs> I made it, oops. So let's go up, go up and slide back down. That's how you do a lowercase u. Now I'm gonna write it again. I'm gonna switch my colors and I want you to grab a dry erase board or a marker or whatever you have. And I want you to practice writing the letter U with me. So first we're gonna start with the uppercase U. Start at the top, go down and around and go back up. And that's it, that's the uppercase U. Let's do the lowercase U. You're gonna start in the middle. Slide down, curve around, go up and back down. That's how you write the lowercase u. Remember, every letter has two forms, a capital or uppercase, whatever you want to call it, capital or uppercase, and a lowercase letter. Now that we've done that, let's move on to our next slide. We're going to delete our syllables now. And now we're going to delete syllables. So just like we did last time, we're going to name the picture and then we're going to break it apart into word parts or syllables. And after that, we're going to practice saying the word without a part of the syllable or one of the syllables. So head band. So head band. This is a head band. Wear it on your head. Let's clap out the syllables. Head band. Head band. Clap it with me again. Head band. Now head Band has two word parts or two syllables. How can we say headband without saying the word head? We're going to whisper headband. And we're going to whisper head. Move this out the way. We're going to whisper head and clap. And then we're going to say band out loud. Let's try it. Band. Band. Say, I can delete word parts or I can delete syllables. That just means we're going to say a part of the word and we're going to clap the other part. All right, let's try with another one. This is a balloon. Balloon. Let's clap out the parts. Ba moon. Ba moon. Ba moon. Ba moon. Balloon has two word parts. How can we say balloon without saying the first part? Ba moon. We're going to whisper ba. And say the word loon. You ready? 
Loon. Loon. Way to go. Say, I can delete word parts. Let's try it with another one. This is a notebook. Say the word notebook. Let's cop out the word notebook. 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 Notebook has two word parts. And you guessed it. We're going to say notebook without saying the word note. Do you remember how to do it? I'm pretty sure you do. We are going to whisper note and clap instead and then say the word book out loud. You ready? Book. Book. Let's do it one more time. Book. Say, I can delete word parts. You guys are doing a wonderful job. This is a rainbow. Have you guys ever seen a rainbow after it's rained? Rainbow. Rainbow. Let's clap out the word parts of rainbow. Rain. Bow. Rain. Bow. Rain. Bow. Rain. Bow. Rainbow has two word parts. How can we say rainbow without saying the word rain? Let's see if you remember. Rain. Bow. That's right. We're going to clap and whisper the word rain and then say the word bow. You ready? Bow. Bow. Say, I can delete word parts. Friends, you could do this activity with your name. My name is Walker. Walker. How can I say Walker without saying wall? Walker. Walker. See if there's some family members' names that you can clap out and then practice deleting the syllable or word parts from their name. Have fun. Happy learning, friends. Bye.